Assalamu alaikum friends my name is Muhammad Yunus and I am Udo technical developer and I am back with another video of this Udo 13 technical course so in today's video we are going to discuss a very important topic which is multi company guidelines so while developing a new module you will have to uh, work with the work so you will have to make sure that your module works with multi companies as you know that uh, of after Udo 13 like included Udo, Udo 13 um, Udo added a feature that you can select multiple companies and you can uh, see multiple companies records if multiple companies are selected here in the header okay you can see here so you will have to you will only see this feature if your multi company uh, feature is activated and you have uh, created multiple companies here so multiple companies are uh, uh, you, you have uh, to activate uh, the multi companies by create by going here and uh, create multi companies like this okay so we have currently two companies so uh so user can log in in multiple companies at once this allows the user to access information from multiple companies uh and they can create uh records in multiple companies like uh for example user logged in with uh two companies so they can create the cards uh, like a uh, sales order uh, with uh, any of the company and they are selectable okay so in such cases if uh, these are not uh, handled correctly then it may cause a source of inconsistencies uh, like for example uh, a user logged in uh, like for example we have two companies a and b and user logged in with both companies so here you can see for example i select uh, this company and uh, he, he tried to create a uh, sale order for the company a and then eight products that belong to company b so uh, it uh, create a consistency like when the user logged in from the company a then it will uh, raise the error warnings uh, that you cannot access the record because the product is from a different company and the sales order is for a different company so in order to manage uh, all these uh, uh, in behaviors uh, udo orm uh, added multiple features so today we are going to uh, talk about one of the feature like the features are company dependent fields multi company consistency default company and uh, like that and then security rules which is the most most important thing which i will discuss at the end so in today's video we are just going to discuss about the multi company dependent fields so what is a company dependent fields so like uh, let me show you the behavior if you go to the open academy and courses and here uh, i have created uh, this uh, course so let me just uh, drag out of one of the company so like when we create a record or add a record so we can um, add different label for a different uh, uh, text in the field and we can select uh, uh, different values for a field on the basis of the company that is currently selected uh, by that user so like for example I you can see I have log I am logged in as my company Chicago so uh, I have created this course and its a description is course one Chicago let me change the company my current company and then uh, you will see the magic so if it will restart refresh the browser and here you can see the description change automatically like company on course one sense uh, francisco so it will change like this so this for this purpose what you need to do is uh, to uh, make the field company dependent or uh, like you will have the option to fill the field uh, is it with a different value for each of the company so for this purpose uh, what we need to do is uh, to add here company sorry let me add a uh, comma and then company dependent dependent is equal to true close company dependent like this so you will have to just add this and then uh, restart uh, Udo and then update the module that's it so after the module update you will be able to see this uh, chain and I will show you how it works okay and so let me just update the module first 
so the module has been upgraded successfully and then uh, let me show you by creating a new record so for example let me go to the open academy and uh, let me create a record here like uh, let me add course 2 and uh, add Mr. admin and here course 2 so I am logged in with uh, San Francisco San Fran Francisco like this and save it okay so let me just change the company for this uh, record and let's see what will happen so here you can see the description in is empty for this uh, uh, new field and let me add a course to uh, Chicago like this so you can fill out this field with different values for each of the company so because it is company dependent and the other thing is like uh, you can add a computed field uh, which uh, changes on the basis of the company change so how you can do it like uh, for example uh, I have two fields uh, so let me just uh, add a field uh, which like description uh, company dependent okay this is just the field name and it should be a text field like this so I want to make it a computed field and here I will add compute a company dependent text okay so here uh, I will have to add this uh, computed field which should be executed on the basis of the company change uh, so let me add this field like this and here I will have to uh, add a for each for loop in a uh, cell and then uh, I need to fill out this uh, field like record dot company dependent is equal to so let's suppose uh, we want to add the combination of uh, record or description and then uh, plus and then space and then plus record dot name like this okay so it should be uh, uh, right now it will just uh, compute but we need to compute it on the basis of the company change so for this purpose we will add here like a uh, api dot uh, depends context and here we will add force company like this and let me uh, add this field uh, to the uh, views also here open academy and here we need to find the description which is here and let me add this field here save it so we have restarted and then uh, upgrade the module and then we will see after the module update okay so restart it okay uh, go to apps and upgrade the module Okay, so let me go to Open Academy uh, here and mm, let me go to this course. So, here you can see this is uh, like you can see this is uh, computed for this uh, description field. And let me just uh, change it and it will change automatically so like you can see chicago it is not showing chicago and let me show change to the other company so it will change like this so uh, you can achieve this uh, using uh, uh, the company dependence equal to true so this is it for uh, today's video and if you enjoyed this video please give a huge thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe to our channel also click the bell icon so that you can get the updates of the upcoming videos Thank you.